I wanted to make a tutorial on Blender's cloth filter and I thought it would be fun to model this cute air balloon together, so let's get started. Shift A to add a UV sphere. Let's move it up above the ground and shade it smooth. Turn on proportional editing and move this vertex up to shape. I'm using a pen so I've assigned my own shortcut for the influence amount, but you can just use your scroll wheel. Just shape your sphere similar to mine and delete these bottom faces. I'm gonna delete this vertex and fill it. Then inset once and move it up a bit. I'm doing this so that this area doesn't get distorted in a messy way when we apply the cloth filter. Alt select. Then shift alt select these loops from top view and press ctrl b to bevel. Hold shift for smaller increments. Now go to object mode and press ctrl 3 for 3 levels of subsurf and apply it. Press ctrl tab to choose sculpt mode. Then click on face set from edit mode selection under the face sets menu. You'll see your face set colored now. Hover over the colored area and press Ctrl, Alt W to shrink face set. We don't want this area too big. Finally click on this cloth filter tool and choose inflate as the filter type. Make sure to check this use face sets from the active tool settings. Now hover over the area you want to inflate or deflate. Move your mouse away from the area to inflate and towards to deflate. Take your time and experiment to get the hang of it. When that's done go to edit mode and select this loop to extrude in the z-axis. Let's add some loop cuts. Try shaping the balloon to your liking. I'm gonna move my cursor to this vertex and add a circle in object mode. Let's scale and fill it in edit mode. I'm gonna extrude this loop in the Z. And inset this face two times, moving it up a little each time. Select this edge loop and bevel for smoother look. Shade it smooth and position it. I'm going to extrude this edge, right click, then scale. Looks like this part is done so let's move it up and model other parts. We'll add a cube for the basket, but before we do that, let's move the cursor back to world origin. Scale the cube and delete this top face. Let's add a bevel modifier and don't forget to shade it smooth and turn on auto smooth. I'm gonna go for 6 segments. 
You can shape yours different. Looks too long so bring these verts down. I'm just setting the origin to geometry. Let's also add a solidify modifier. Adjust thickness and we're done with the basket. I'm gonna move the basket up and scale it a bit more. I'm just going to place four cords so let's move the cursor to this edge and add a single vert. Make sure to press one for vertex and extrude down. I'm holding control to snap to vertex. Placed it about right, so I'll add a mirror modifier. Put the cursor back to world origin and set the object's origin to 3D cursor before adding the modifier. We'll turn both X and Y on. Convert it to curve and the modifiers automatically applied. Increase bevel depth under geometry and raise resolution amount to 8. I'm going to convert it back to mesh and shade it smooth. We're now done with modeling. I'll be showing how to quickly unwrap and apply material using a color palette in part 2 of this video, so please subscribe and leave a like if you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching, guys.